Okay, I think everyone's here. Okay, so we're going to combine them all. Combine them all. Now here's the thing. This is what I, I've learned from looking into the game files. The way that rating works is that you need to have at least 500 men to get the most effective draw rate. Now, let's just review rating again. I may have already talked about this once, but I, I want to be very clear on it. So, loot is restored at a rate of 2.5% per month. So it takes like three full years to go all the way from nothing up to the top. 2.5% uh, over, say, 10 months would be 25%. So it's going to take 40 months, which is just a little bit over three years, like three and a third. Loot is drawn if you have 500 men minimum at a rate of 4% per four days. So it's taken very, very quickly. If you have more than 500 men, it doesn't draw from the it doesn't draw the stuff any faster. So you're best off making small groups of at least, say, 500 men. So let's do that. We're going to create a series of groups of men that are at least 500. Just like, as soon as I get barely over 500, we're going to stop. See, that's already too many. Okay, so we've got that many potential raiding parties. Now I'm just going to flag them all. Probably would have been easier if I just flagged them all before splitting them, but the keybinds don't work when you've got this interface pulled up. So now they're all flagged, and with that many, let's um, let's do this. We're just gonna we're gonna get them all, get them all onto the boats. So v v v v v, and we're gonna go raiding. So here's how I'm gonna do it. So here's how I like to do it. All right. So we've got this army. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six that border the sea zone. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna loot all of them. So what you do is you click your ships, you press V, then you select an army, and then you go there. Click there, press V, select an army, and then you go there. It's an repeat. And the reason that this works really well is because it seems to take the AI... Oops, I missed one. It seems to take the AI a small amount of time to actually respond. And then we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got them all. Now we wait a few days. All right. So those armies are all off and they're raiding. We can click and we can see the loot that's being taken. I do not actually. I've discovered I do not like to raid and like loot buildings down to the ground from small people. With small people, the problem is that that just gets them attacked. With someone like the Byzantines, we could probably actually burn Constantinople to the ground. So I am okay with doing that. So let's take, um, let's just take all the rest of them and burn Constantinople. So we're going to take everything we can from this C zone, and once all the loot is gone, then we'll leave to the next C zone. So the way I do that is you kind of move around and you keep pressing Z when you're on a county to see how the loot progress is going. Now this is a good C zone. So hopefully, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split the armies up, and we're actually going to manage to say two at once. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait until those ones are out. And I've missed one. Let's just take all the rest of them over here. And I really don't need that many boats there. So let's split this up into, say, two equal-sized ship groups. A little bit closer than that, about... Ugh. That's close enough. Okay, so now I'm going to take all of these except for one and whichever group of boats they got onto is now going to move on to another sea zone like the Sea of Azov okay now check these armies they all look fine we'll do the same thing we were doing a second ago so we've got this army this sea zone here this sea zone here Now this is a lot of micro, but it's also incredibly time efficient. That's the whole reason that I started to do it this way. These won't be here till July 11th, so we're doing fine. Now some of the counties, I'm not actually even checking. I'm not checking to see if they've got tons of fort level. Like this one's already, he's already hit the loot bar barrier, but it doesn't matter. You just go C zone to C zone. You can get quite a bit more money for actually ransacking the counties, but it takes too long, and the um, you, you, I just find it's faster to just take take the gold off the top and then uh, and then go to the next county okay same as before we press V click go click the boats V click go 
Now, if I really wanted to go insane with this micro, I could actually go, you know, five separate Viking raiding crews. And this is the most gamey... I wouldn't actually even call this a gamey. This is, this is working as intended. This is how it's supposed to work. This is definitely like farming the world. That little indicator there can tell you that you're, you've, you've finished taking the loot, or they cannot take loot. Now keep in mind, one of the reasons why this is so darn efficient is that when they changed it in this patch to make it so that armies have no morale when they're summoned, I believe, that now that I've played this long enough, I believe the reason for that is to allow Vikings this raid mechanic. They can't just raise an army right on your, on your raiders because they'll have no morale. They'll instantly lose. No matter how large the army is, it could be a 10,000-man regiment and 500 men will beat it. Here, let's take those men up there and actually siege through the bishopric as well. Burn it to the ground and build a car park. If you know that reference, if you know what the hell I am talking about, give yourself some points. You're amazing. Yeah, we're actually done with all of them. And I think I'm going to just head home now. I mean, we've got enough loot. I mean, we've got... We're almost full. That one's almost full. That one's almost full. Yeah, let's just head back. Okay, so this will be a massive haul. Quite the rake. Or take. And I'm going to combine all these because I want to have one big haul. Look at that. 2,300 gold, roughly. This is how you do it. 2,283. Bam! 90. Bah! You guys are stupid.